Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk, and I'm live in the classroom, and I'm going to record a very, very, very basic pizza texture. Now, because it's just a texture, I'm not going to worry about the pizza base here. I'm going to have this really, really just boring on there. But I will do the texture, and that's just a materials issue mainly. I want to have the top kind of puffed up a bit, but you all know how to bring that up from the last tutorial using noise, so that's great. But in this case, I just am worried about the texture, so I'm not even going to worry about what it looks like on the base. So I have this here, and how to see textures is, of course, go to realistic, and you want your materials, and you want to see the realistic materials with maps. You want to see what it looks like afterwards. I'm going to hit M and call up my materials. And here they are. So when I've got my materials, I'm going to grab a specific, well in this case I'll just grab a standard material I suppose. We'll start very simple. Standard material. And what's going to make the thing is a mixture of, I guess, for now, cheese and tomato sauce. So cheese and tomato sauce. I want that mixed in some way. So I'm going to mix two colors together is basically what I want. So in that case, I'm going to just mix it with one of these maps. And the map will block one color and let the other through, basically, essentially. I think I'll start with just a noise map. That's your standard. And you can get a feel for what the rest looks like. So we'll grab a noise map out, drag it into diffuse. Diffuse is color, of course. So I'll make it colors that are somewhat appropriate for pizza. I don't know, cheese colors, kind of a whitish. That's too whitish, yellowish. Is that a good cheese color? Is that gross? No, that's gross. What is a good cheese color? Okay, that'll work. So I got the cheese color part, and I want the other part, the other color in here, to be the tomato sauce stuff. So that's obviously red. So I'm bringing it about down to like that, I suppose. All right. Now the scale is going to be off instantly. First, I'm going to assign material to the selection. And I'm going to mess with the scale later. So I'll kind of bring this smaller. All I'm going to worry about, basically, is this noise map right there. That's what it's going to look like. It gives us kind of a preview. And we've already got it on here, and I should be able to see that if I've applied it. Have I applied it? Let's see. Is it selected? It's selected. Right click, assign material to selection. Update our views. And there it is. I should be able to see it. Okay, it's really murky here, but if I render it. But it's still really murky, okay. So if it's too flat like that, I can go back into the map, double click the map, just like you would anything else. And I'll take some things off. I've got a blur here somewhere. There it is, except for one. I'll bring this down a bit, and you can see on this how it's going to affect it. So I'll bring the blur kind of way down and see if we can get anything different out of that. Bring the size of this down a bit too. Way down, let's see what we got so far. Tricks to keep rendering. Oh, still looks really too murky. I'll change the type to a fractal. Should look a bit better. It's looking a bit better there. That's good. And I'm just kind of playing with it and changing it out. Bring the noise threshold way down, and that should separate the colors out really nicely. So I have something like this. It's starting to look pretty good. What do you think? The size needs to go down? I think the size needs to go down a bit. Let's try this, see what it looks like. And yeah, there you go. It's a pretty good base for a pizza. So what do you think? I could throw pepperonis on top of that, but I think it's a pretty decent cheese pizza base with tomato sauce. It's a good start. So you can play with that. Now, once again, the basic recipe for that, get it, sorry. Okay, the basic recipe is a standard material with the noise map in the diffuse. If you really want to change things, you want to bring that noise threshold down. What that'll do is it'll separate the colors more easily. 
Okay, so that concludes this particular thing on making a cheese pizza texture. Pepperonis, different story.